Thank thanks so much for coming. Mwah. Thank you. This is my store. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So it all happens here. It does. So yeah. literally, I can fall in love with something here. Yeah. And then I can walk away with it. Absolutely. Within, yeah, within ten minutes. So this is our little gorgeous gift bag and it comes in the gift box. So this one is one of your best sellers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the initial piece. So okay. it's just really simple. An initial, we can do an initial on the front, initial on the back. Yes. Um, and we've grown that range to have earrings. We've had double initials, a necklace, a ring. We've got the bracelet, the necklace. So it's yeah. a really easy piece. Now that Jane has seen how Nicole manages the LV Jewel store, she's headed back to their office to check in with John. So John, since we last got together, I was lucky enough to visit Nicole in your beautiful, yes, Q yes, your beautiful and tiny, tiny QVB. What did you think of it? I was amazed at actually how much traffic was going past yeah. now, but Nicole actually told me that that was, compared to what is normal, it's still just a trickle, really. With COVID, there's been a lot of people still working from home, as, yes. as you are aware. So we are in a high traffic area, which yeah. is great, which is why I love being in there. And it's like a prestigious place to be, the Queen Victoria building. I love the signage and the mm -hmm. way that you are, you know, as you're walking past, you can really see, it pops out and says, we do engraving, personalise me, and talks to your customer that are walking past, so it creates that curiosity and draws people in. I, I noticed it drawing people in. Yeah, well, that's what we're all about, basically, the personalisation. And people love that we do it in store. People still can't believe they can just wait a few minutes and take it home with them. Yeah, so while we're talking about customers, yeah. let's just dig a little bit deep, because last time we spoke, you were going to go away and find out a little bit more, ask your customers yes. um, some questions. How have you gone with that? Yes, yeah, so we conducted a survey. We went out to all our customers and we got a great response back. And we found um, a few things that we sort of knew yeah. and some things that were, you know, uh, I guess uh, a surprise. Excellent. So, I mean, most of all, we found out that the customers love LV brand, like they love us. Yeah. They love the affordability yes. and the quality of the jewellery. So as you know, like our, our material is slightly different to sort of what you may find elsewhere. We use a lot of stainless steel and that is very strong material, very hard wearing, doesn't tarnish or anything. We found customers love that. Still looks great. We also asked a question about with, would the customers pay for the shipping or mm -hmm. pay for extra for a gift packaging and so forth. So most of the customers were open to paying extra for extra services, but with the gift box, they, there was a good, uh, I sensed they expected to come the in a box. The expectation, yes. Okay, yeah, well that's yeah. really interesting. That's good insights, mm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very much so. So what else did you learn? We also asked them about shopping in store or shopping online. Uh -huh. Because as you know, our lease is coming up in, in the next 12 months. Yes. And um, it's a big overhead having a physical location. Yes. We didn't really get a clear indication, like customers were sort of open to shopping in store and some were preferred shopping. It was very split. And then so, some were obviously open to both. Yes. I do love having a store in the Queen Victoria building. Like there's a certain, I don't guess, it is prestige to it. But it's got to make sense, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, the well? numbers, can't the numbers have... It looks nice. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yes, it's got to stand up on its own two feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it absolutely does. But it, it sounds like it, it just might. And maybe when we get to the bottom of the numbers, we might find that the store is a really important element. Yeah. Um, it's certainly for someone like us, even though now 95% of our business is online and 5% is in store, it's such an important element for us to understand our customers, understand our customers' needs. She walks in, she tells us all about her life and what's going on and how we become part of her wardrobe solution. And I think for you, the, her gifting solution, there is so much gold in the interactions and in the learnings that you're having on the floor. And if you're continually evolving your product, it's great to be with your customers experiencing your product, which helps you then um, know which direction to go and, and, and you know, find that temperature check, if you like, with yeah, your customers. Yeah, yeah. And what about product? What did they tell you about okay, the Okay, so there was a clear, clear um, uh, feedback from the customers that we need to increase our product range. Okay, so, so variety. Um, definitely, we need some new styles, some new designs. Um, 
it could just mean that we need to offer more different styles of engraving or maybe some whole different pieces. I mean, that's also, again, something that we need to look into and maybe we need to check the numbers on which ones are selling the most and maybe <laughs> offer more, more This is where like you that. can get creative, I think, John. <laughs> this is about freshness. Girls love the new thing. Um, so, it, yeah, it is really exciting. As someone who's in fashion, you know, bringing out new ranges all the time, keeps customers interested, keeps them coming back to find out what's new, what's coming out. One of the things we talked about, and if you agree, I'm, I'm happy to share a template for a cash flow budget. Um, okay. And it yeah. would be great to get, to really understand the numbers sitting in behind the store and the online. So you, are you prepared to take a spreadsheet and get dirty with it? Yes, I'm looking <laughs> forward to it. So I'm going to leave you with that. And are you happy to, to jump in with the spreadsheet and do your darndest? Absolutely. Then the other thing, obviously, the, the big decision you're making around whether you stay where you are, what would be the alternatives? Would it okay. be to go into the suburbs? Because maybe that has shopping changed. It's, it's, you know, where are your competitors? Where are they placed? What, and probably just a pros and cons list. Yeah, yeah, I think that's great. That's really inspiring. I'm definitely going to think about that. Awesome. Thanks, John. Thanks, Can't wait Jane. to meet with you again.